Today I'd like to show you how to draw a ship at sea. You'll need a pencil of some sort and if you want to color in you'll need some crayons. I'll be drawing with my drawing stick because it's a little bit darker than my regular pencil. It'll be easier for you to see the lines that I'm using to draw the ship. If you need to put this video on pause to gather your materials, that'd be fine. What I suggest you do is, is find the right kind of blue that you like for the ocean. And then you'll need a brown for the ship and whatever color you want for the sky. Now that you've got your things ready, your, your pencil and your paper at least, and maybe some crayons to color in, Here's how you, I'd like you to try to draw this ship. We're going to use a couple of letters and some lines and shapes. On the left side of your paper, down toward the bottom, because you want a lot of space up here for the masts and the sails, if you'll start off with the letter V. The letter V. After you've got the letter V, start at one end of the letter V on the top here, and go across to the other end and keep on going to make a long line. Don't go all the way to the other end of the paper, just stop right about there. Now on that line toward the end, come in a little bit and draw the letter F. And if you slant the letter F a little bit, that's okay. Doesn't have to be a complete neat letter F. Now if you'll go from the top of the F, and again if you have to pause the video to catch up, that's fine. From the top of the letter F, just a, a diagonal line that comes down, you can even curve it a little bit. About even with the bottom of that V. Because that's going to be the back of the ship, and up here is going to be the front of the ship. Now don't draw the bottom of the ship yet, we're going to put some waves down there. To do the waves, right along the whole bottom of your paper, I like you to do a whole bunch of the letter C. C, C, C. This ship is going to be sailing the seas. C, C, C. And it helps if you don't attach the seas yet. Just keep them a little bit separate. And if you want to make some C's a little bigger than others, that's okay too. Now that you've got that whole line of C's, and again, if you have to pause to catch up, that's fine. I know I draw kind of fast. From the top of the one C, bring a line down to the bottom of the C to its left. From the top of each C, a line down to the C to its left. And already you can probably see the seas are becoming waves, choppy waves in the ocean from the top of a sea down to the bottom of the next sea next to it. And continue on until you've got it all done. Take your time. Don't rush through it. If you need to put the video on pause, that's fine. Catch up after you get these all taken care of. If you mess up, you could erase, but we'll be coloring over this so you don't have to worry about any mess ups. Now you've got your ship, the body of it, the hull, and what you want to do is add all the detail. So on the front, just a line that leans up. That's going to be one of the masts. If you want to draw a little character on the front of it, some, some of the ships had. Uh, statues of people on the front of them with long hair like mermaids and then some lines that go across from one end to the other of the ship now if you want this to be a pirate ship you can put some cannons along the side here by putting a square with a circle inside of it and you can do a whole row of cannons on the side of your ship. Blackbeard's ship had about 12 cannons on each side. 
all the way across. There's some cannons. Back here in the captain's cabin, so the captain can see out, just bought a rectangle with a crisscross in it for a window. And up top of here, if you'll put a circle or an oval, and then an X through it, and then a crisscross through that, you'll have a steering wheel for the captains to steer the ship's rudder. For the masts, if you'll draw a straight line up here toward the front but not on the front, and a straight line behind it, you'll have a couple of masts. On the very top of this one, that's toward the back, just go across it like you're crossing a T and then turn it into an upside down trapezoid. I'll bet some of you sailors out and out there know that this is called a, a crow's nest. That's where the, the lookout would, would be stationed to keep an eye on the ocean to see what was coming far off. Now you need some sails. So if you cross this over here and cross this other mast and then if you do another letter C but make it really big and a really big C on this one you'll have a couple of sails to sail you along the ocean and on the front here if you just bring a triangle up that helps to to catch the wind and steer the ship as well for other detail if you want to put some rigging rigging would be the ladders the rope ladders that the sailors would climb up if you do a couple of parallel lines coming down from the mast and then a bunch of horizontal little lines that go all the way up so your sailors can climb up to fix the rigging if you want to put a flag on the top mast. You can put a flag on each of the masts and on the back of the ship as well. You can put a line up for a flagpole on the back. If you want to do a pirate ship, if you'll do a circle and an X underneath it, you'll have the Jolly Roger. And you can do that on each of the flags if you want. I'm going to start coloring now. If you want to put some sailors on here, you could. If you want to put a little bit of a, a railing here to keep the sailors from falling off the side of the boat, think about how you want to design your boat. Now for the blues, I picked out a couple of blues that I like for the ocean. This is a pretty nice one. It's like a greenish blue. I'm going to go right across the ocean with that one for the waves. And then a different blue underneath the waves. Make it look a little bit a little bit deeper there. Get a different blue. See if this one will work. For the deep part of the sh the sea, or the flat side of the sea, and then on top of this blue, I'm even going to add a little bit of green to make it look real oceany. So I get myself a green. I go across. The blue. Mix up any which colors you'd like for the ocean and the boat in the sky. Blackbeard's ship had a, a painted blue across the top part. His ship was called Queen Anne's Revenge. He stole that ship. And then the rest of it was brown. for the wood. It 
some of the wood that they use for the ships I included oak really good strong wood for a ship and there was a ship that they built with very thick oak they called it old iron size they said the cannonballs would just bounce off I'm going to take a little bit of this black crayon and color in around the cannons here I think I'll take a little bit of yellow and orange here and put it around this cannon like it just blast it off a, a cannonball so decorate your ship any which way you want I'm gonna put a bit of orange in the sky make it look like it's sunset gotta keep the sails white though this whole sky but leaving those sails white they say the pirates flags would, would be black or the white skull and crossbone they called the Jolly Roger and they say that name may have come from the French for pretty red because they would sometimes put up a red flag Jolie Rouge. Jolie Rouge would be the Jolly Roger. Alright, so far I've got my my pirate ship. Might want to put a captain up here behind the steering wheel. So I'm just gonna do a solid oval, like the captain's wearing a black black coat, and then come across with a couple of points up top for his face and then find a color for his face and his hands on the wheel. They say Blackbeard used to dip his hair braids into wax and light them on fire before jumping on a ship to scare the people into thinking that he was coming up from the smoke and fire because there would just be smoke coming out from under his hat. All right, so there's my captain's ship over there, my, my pirate ship, and it's off to a good sail. All right, well, draw a ship and whatever kind of flags you want to put on it. Choose your colors and have fun.